Hi, welcome to Leslie's How to Pool. Today we're gonna to show you how to calculate the volume of your pool so you know how many gallons of water it holds. There are some good reasons why you should know your pool volume. It helps in order to add the right amount of chemicals when balancing and sanitizing, because too much can be harmful to your pool and equipment and be uncomfortable for swimmers. Not adding enough chemicals for your pool size can lead to increased germs and algae growth, which can be costly to fix. Many chemical labels provide a dosage rate per 10,000 gallons, so you'll want to scale up or down from there as needed when adding chemicals. Other reasons for knowing the volume of your pool have to do with properly sizing new pool equipment and determining how long your pump should run. If it runs too long, you're wasting electricity. And if it runs too little, you won't be circulating the proper amount of water through the filter. You should be circulating about your entire pool volume once per day, or more in warmer areas, or if you're addressing water treatment issues. So, when it comes to figuring out the volume of your pool, you might be lucky enough to still have the paperwork from your pool builder or manufacturer, where it often lists the gallon capacity. If not, though we're gonna show you how to calculate it with some simple measurements and a little math. You'll need a tape measure, pencil and paper, and of course, a calculator always helps. To start off, here are some things to keep in mind while you're measuring. When dealing with a rectangle pool, the length of your pool is the longest stretch from end to end, and the width is the shorter length going side to side. For circular pools and hot tubs, the diameter is your widest point, with the half that measurement being the radius. You can figure out the average depth of your pool by measuring the depths at the shallowest and deepest ends, then adding them together and dividing by two. If your pool happens to be the same depth throughout, then you made out easy for this part. A single depth measurement will work just fine. And a little trick for measuring pool lengths is to measure your stride, then just count your steps for the length and width of your pool. For the depth of your pool, use your pool skimmer pole and lower it down until it reaches the bottom. Mark where the water line is and then just measure the pole. Now after you have the length, width, and average depth of your pool, you have what you need to calculate the volume in gallons. Different shaped pools have different calculations, so you'll likely only need one of the following equations to determine your pool capacity. For rectangular or square pools, you multiply the length by width by average depth by 7.5 to get your approximate volume. So for example, if your pool is 28 feet long, 14 feet wide, and has an average depth of five and a half feet, you'll multiply 28 times 14 times 5.5 times 7.5, which gives you an approximate pool volume of 16,000 gallons. For circular pools and hot tubs, you multiply pi, which is 3.14 times the radius, times the radius again, times your average depth by 7.5. If your pool's oval, you'll multiply pi, which again is 3.14 times the length, by the width of your pool times 0.25 times your average depth. Then you multiply that by 7.5 and that'll give you your approximate volume in gallons. If you have a kidney shaped pool, you'll wanna get the measurements of your two widest points. Mark one with A and the other with B. You'll add A and B together and then multiply that number by the actual length of your pool. Once you have that, multiply it by 0.45, then multiply it by your average depth and lastly by 7.5 and that'll be your volume for a kidney-shaped pool. For an irregular shape or free-form pool, you'll want to take the longest length of your pool times the widest width and multiply that number by your average depth. Then take that and multiply it by 5.9 to calculate your approximate volume in gallons. And there you have it. Hopefully this makes it a little easier for you to figure out the total volume of your pool so you can better manage all its needs. After all, we want to help you spend less time maintaining your pool and more time enjoying it. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. And for more helpful tricks and tips on pool care, subscribe to our YouTube channel and visit our blog at lesliespool.com.